Hey everybody, welcome back to the Intentional Carnivore. I got to sit down the other day and I was on a live with two of the the pioneers of this space, I guess you could say. And started off with Miss Kelly Hogan and just it was really cool being able to speak with her. And, you know, obviously I wanted to ask her some things that was on my mind as I watch her her content. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I related to Kelly on was that she could be doing everything right. You can put the right foods in. You can follow all the advice that you're given. You can do it the same way as you see so many other people do, even in the space here, um, and not see some of the same things that they're seeing. And sometimes that can be discouraging. And you know, we kind of discussed that a little bit, doing everything right, making the right decisions. And here's what she had to say about it. Oh, I don't know about one, but I could sum it up pretty quickly in a few things. First of all, it's not going to be linear. You're going to make progress, but it's not going to be every day. And it's not always going to be on the scale. And I want you to look for wins in a million areas. Look for the work that you're doing. That's another thing. I was always doing the work, but I didn't always see that as, as the win. It was like it, if I woke up and the scale didn't go down, then now I was the loser, right? Oh, you, you messed up. No, I was consistent. And I, I, even from the beginning, I was taking walks and I was eating meat and I was trying so hard. And, you know, the scale will be like all over the place. There were yeah. long, long plateaus. I, I saw in the chat somebody asked how much have I lost now. I've lost 125 pounds, but during that 125 pound loss, there were long plateaus. It took me four, about four years to get even close to this weight. What people wow. sell you in the magazine is, you know, it's going to happen all at once. It's going to be to die. And if you're doing it right, it's going to be like magic. Some magic was right away, but it wasn't as fast as some people. I didn't just wake up at total goal weight. It took time. And that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. What is the five-year plan for you? Because I could do this easily for the next five years. I, I plan to do it for the next 50. If we're so, if we're doing things that are so hard and so impossible, like running, running, running and restricting calories and going hungry and eating rice cakes. Yeah, you need a five-week <laughs> plan because that's the only amount of time you're going to be able to do that. That's it. But if you're really like you're living your best life and you're feeling good and you're eating, let's talk about the five to 50 year plan because that yes. looks really good and sustainable. Is there any chance that somebody's going to cut out processed foods, take walks, eat the world's most healthy food, meat, get sunshine, deal with stress and sleep? Those Let's call those foundational things. Is there any chance they're going to do that for five years straight and not come out way better on the other side? No, no, no there is not. <laughs> they are going to win every time. Every. We just got to do these foundations instead of what I was hyped, so focused on was results, results, results. And it was this obsession, obsession with the scale, obsession with I'm not better than yesterday. I'm not lighter than yesterday. Give it some time. We're just looking for the long-term game plan now. Where are you going to be in five years? You're going to be better. That's the answer. And that just goes to show that you can make every decision exactly how it needs to be made. And sometimes the answer is just going to be time. And we all get impatient. We all want to see the changes overnight. We want to see them drastically but sometimes our bodies just don't work that way. And we have to be understanding and trust the process and keep pushing forward, um, you know, no matter what, because it will affect us and it will work. We just have to have that patience and that's hard um, for all of us in different ways. And, you know, so not only did I get to talk with Miss Kelly, but I also got to speak to somebody else who holds a dear place in my heart, Dr. Barry. And he mentioned a few things and listen to what he had to say. 
Um, so thank you guys for your influence, for your honesty, for your willingness and determination to step up. It's not the first time I've been able to tell you, Dr. Barry. Um, it is Kelly, obviously, the first time I've spoke with her. But I'm so appreciative because a year and a half ago, my life was completely and utterly changed because of your guys' willingness to step out, be honest, speak truthfully about conditions that that have been known and and put yourself out there against the grain of society and i think that's huge and you're seeing lots and lots and untold thousands of people being changed uh the only question that i could possibly think of that i wanted to ask either one of you obviously at this point is what are what is one thing in particular that you intentionally make sure that you do every day outside of your your basic needs to keep yourself focused and on track with the mission you you have in life. So I am currently on a big kick of walk. Take the walk. If anybody follows me on Instagram, they know that all day, every day I walk. To me, it accomplishes so many purposes, not just health-wise, but of course we know it brings down glucose and controls insulin. It's amazing for mental health. But I typically take three walks per day, and I know I can't do it every day, couldn't do it today. But typically I dedicate one to quiet time and to the Lord for prayer, reflection, thinking, just quiet time. I t very often dedicate another one to listening to something I can learn from, whether it's a book, an audio podcast. And then the third is for relationship building. My husband normally gets the third walk. Sometimes it's my daughter, Julia, or one of the kids wants to go with me or a friend, human connection. If every day I'm fueling myself with the perfect food and I am, then adding a walk to that where I'm also working on spiritual health, mental health, my family relations and learning. To me, it's walking. That's it. it. For me, it's it's getting up every morning really early and and doing some research, having some coffee, and then Beckett and Bonnie get up way before I'm ready for them too. And uh, every morning, right, I'm like, oh, they're up already. Dang it. But that's okay because then we all go outside barefoot. Often the kids are half naked. We go out in the front yard. We get in the morning sun. We, we get our feet in the grass. We play around. We throw rocks. If there's a frog, we play with that. We just spend good time together. Uh, and then just family time all around. My time out in the, in the pasture and in the woods working on the farm, uh, often with an Audible or a, a Kelly Hogan YouTube video in my ear, learning something new every day. That's a that's a big part of, of, of my life is learning continuously. Uh, and there's no shortage of things to learn. So I'm, there's no danger of me running out of stuff because I don't know a lot. And then eating good meat every meal once or twice a day and then church on Sunday and then repeat. And that's, that's my happiness. Yeah. Thank you. And I love it when you guys learn, because when you learn, guess what? I learn because I'm I'm right behind you guys, keeping on up, keep trying to keep pace right behind you. You guys are paving the way, and I appreciate it so much. You guys never forget it's Nisha that you need to thank for me having a YouTube channel because if she hadn't basically <laughs> shamed me into doing this, I wouldn't I wouldn't be on YouTube. And so that she gets all the credit for that. But it's it's my absolute pleasure to help people improve their health. That's kind of what I'm supposed to do, right? That's kind of, you know, the definition of a doctor. And the fact that I can help thousands and thousands of people instead of just 20 or 30 a day in the clinic, to me, that's a blessing. I don't know if I can even explain how deep that goes. Uh, I'm never going to stop doing this. And I want, I want you guys to know, uh, Kelly Hogan and Carrie and all the rest of you guys, when you spread this message, you you literally are saving more lives than some doctors do. Mm. Never forget that. Never forget that that you don't know because those YouTube videos they're they're on out there 24/7, 365. And you don't you never know when somebody's ready, when their heart's ready, when their mind's ready, when they've had that huge scare at the emergency room or that huge scare they thought, oh, this is it. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Here we go. And then it turns out to be a false alarm. But when you get the the get the hell scared out of you that makes you go okay it's time for me to tighten up and get serious here and then when you've got that friend like carrie or like kelly it's like yeah go watch these videos this will tell you what to do it's like that's like just i mean that how that's priceless right for somebody who's ready and so you guys are doing you guys are doing more good than you give yourself credit for and i really need you to stop underselling what you're doing because what you're doing is very very important 
and you're helping people. You're improving people's health and you're literally saving people's lives by, by t teaching them about a proper human diet. So I can never thank all you guys enough for what you do. And uh, I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I do and I'm going to keep fighting this with you. And it won't be too many more days before we'll hit a tipping point and the phrase proper human diet will become a ubiquitous term on the tip of the tongue of every adult in America. And then we'll see what, what the powers that be do with that when that happens, because that's going to happen. There is an army uh, assimilating <laughs> so yeah. behind you guys. So thank you. Absolutely. It is quite emotional because a year and a half ago, I was laying on a couch looking for a reason to live for another day. And I, and I finally just stumbled into that Dr. Barry video. And, and from there, you know, Dante and Carnivore Quest with Larry and Cassie and Kelly Hogan and, and Anthony Chafee and, and so many of these others, Dr. Even Dr. Fong and some of those Dr. Kilts. I mean, re the reverse series, come on now, Charles Maddox is, is, has been doing it for years, you know, and you guys were taking part in that. So you never know who's life. Not only did it change my life, to where my health became optimal, where I lost weight, reverse type two diabetes, cured non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but it affects the life of those directly related to me, like my children, my 15 year old and my 12 year old, like my wife of 21 years, like my all those situations. So it, it, it has a ripple effect, not just for those taking place in it, but the families of all those people. And so it's so huge, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's, it is, priceless it's priceless that's all i can say so let that be a reminder every time you share this way of eating with someone you're saving as many lives or oftentimes according to dr barry more lives than most physicians are so just keep that in mind i mean that's something of a real humbling thought to think about also i mean to me it sounds like even the people who are have been doing this quite a long time understand that you know you have to be intentional about what you're doing there's things that they do every single day that they plan into their day for cultivating relationships for planning life and doing life and expectancy to do things so i definitely think that's something that understand that it's not going to be overnight but it will work so I uh, just wanted to reminisce, go back and hit those highlights because it definitely meant a, a lot to me to be able to speak with them. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave me a note in the comments if you enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts about it and uh, maybe leave some examples of how you are intentional about how you're living and how you're trying to represent that to the people around you in your space. And stay strong. Keep pushing forward. We'll see you next time.